Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. On today's video we're going to go over how to make a crosscut sled for a table saw. I've had a few requests to make this video, and by a few I mean one, so you know who you are. <laughs> and so I made this video, I thought it was a good idea to show everybody how to make it, and uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. So you want to choose a nice stable base, um, either a high level plywood like I use, it's a, this is a Baltic birch, um, it's a finishing kind of, I guess you could do furniture with it and stuff like that, but uh, you get it at a Home Depot and it's uh, I think it's about 20-30 bucks a sheet, about this size as well. Um, and I had some offcuts of Baltic birch too, so I just cut them into this shape here. So there's a few advantages to this thing is it prevents tear out it really helps with tear out until you do something like this which doesn't help but um, if I had to cut a critical piece I could cat this with quarter inch Luan or something that was flat and just kind of put some crown staples on it just to cap it so I could get my zero clearance edge back but um, back here I've got just a rough ruler penciled out I mean it's pretty close but uh, I wouldn't do any finishing. If you're looking to do rough cut some lumber and stuff like that, that's perfect for that. Um, it's all glued and screwed together and uh, the back's got a single piece of plywood. So I fit it obviously in the sleds of my table saw and let's flip this thing around and I'll show you what the bottom side looks like. So I got these vinyl uh, tracks. Um, I got them at Lee Valley Tools and uh, I think they were like 15 bucks for the pair. 10-15 bucks. They weren't too expensive. And um, the reason I use the vinyl tracks is because they don't wear. Like this is what they're meant for. They they slide through much easier. But you could just make some out of hardwood. Now, you know, there's expansion, contraction with the, the moisture in the air and stuff like that. So, you know, it depends on how precise you want to make this thing. In my opinion, if you're going to make it, spend the 15 bucks and get some vinyl sleds or some vinyl tracks to fit it. Uh, and they, I didn't have to cut them. They fit in my table saw. I guess it depends what size table saw you've got, but so and it's all screwed from the bottom. When I put this thing together, the first thing I did was uh, I squared up my table saw. Very important. So with my table saw, um, some some table saws, this is a cast iron top. Some table saws you square the table to the motor, and some it's the motor to the table. I basically used a square, and I measured from my track. To the blade and then I rotated the blade to the back and I measured from that same with the same square and I measured uh, to the back of the blade as it happens I mean it, they change over time they adjust they settle or you know you just by using them they'll come out a square so and I just squared it up and got it back into place and uh, once that was squared what I did was I took some pennies and I put some I put them in my track to bring my vinyl strips just proud of the tabletop so it was just sticking up a hair and I did it for both sides obviously made sure this thing was free of dust and what I did was I took my sled and I sorry I dabbed some super glue on the top of my vinyl tracks on both sides and what I did was I took my sled I put my sled where I wanted it and I squared it up to my table my table edge using a, uh, a speed square just to make sure it was nice and flush this thing is well worth uh, the small expense. Um, it's all three quarter inch stock, so it's nice and chunky. And I like, as I said, it's all glued and screwed, except for my uh, my front fence here. I did I didn't glue it down, so just to be in case if I had to adjust it down the road. There's all kinds of other attachments, but that I use for this thing too. And so essential essential tools and little jigs that I think you need for this crosscut sled are uh, well just any little piece of scrap a stop block and what I do is I use my ruler and I'll lift my blade up and I'll bring my stop block to uh, let's say I wanted to cut consistently at 15 inches for my block there and uh, I'll use a little a little clamp and I'll hold it in place and then you can repeatedly cut 15 inches consistently. So let's say I was cutting 5 8 melamine. What I would do is I would take the I would take my ruler and uh, the block only goes to I mean it's at 24 inches from the blade, but you can really only mount the block up to 23 inches. 
uh, my stop block that is. So if you wanted to go beyond that, uh, what I would do is first you got to take an off cut of the material or something thicker than what you're using. Then you put it down, and then I would I made this little jig, really simple little jig. Uh, it's just five eighths melamine, and I've got a piece brad nail it on the end. And I take this and I put it to wherever I want. So if I wanted to cut at 30, you know, I can go all the way with this jig. I can go to 42 inches. That's pretty, even like 40 inches would be the max. I could build a longer arm if I wanted to go further, and you can really be very accurate with your cuts. So I would just put this on my, on my mark, clamp it in place, pull out the ruler and pull out my piece, and you're ready to cut. So Also, whenever, whenever I'm putting my crosscut sled on the table saw, I remove the uh, insert around the blade. It just allows, especially if you've got dust collection, well, that's the only reason why I take it out is for the dust collection. So I take out my insert so I get more draw. You wouldn't want to leave a zero clearance insert in there. You wouldn't get any suction around the blade, so. The crosscut sled is really essential in the shop. I use mine all the time. Um, if you're in a garage and you build it out of wood, um, I know my, my slab, on my on my garage floor, it gets a bit moist, so I keep uh, I put my crosscut sled on some blocks on the floor when I when it's not on the table, just to keep that moisture out of it. So keep it from warping and stuff like that. Um, take care of it, keep it dry, and it'll take care of you, and it'll save you a lot of time in the shop. So well worth the couple hours it took me to make this. And uh, anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and leave your comments in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and. Uh, We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>